My dog's name is Romeo, and he's a Chesapeake Bay Retriever, and in my opinion, he's the most adorable dog on the planet. <laughs> he's my child. <laughs> Archie is, um, you know, it's unconditional love both ways. Um, we have just made a really, really good bond um, so that, you know, he's super excited when I come home, and all throughout the day when I'm in class, I'm constantly thinking about him, you know, just wanting to get back to him. Um, I mean, my, my screensaver is my dog, like, and he's, he's like my kid. My dog is absolutely my family. I don't know what I would do if something happened to him. I'd probably just, I, I, like, I'd die. Like, I don't know what I'd do without him. He's my best friend. Probably my favorite part would be just, like, being outside not having any other people to worry about. I mean, I'd way rather spend time with my dog than like with people. Um, I mean, he just makes me happy, like he brightens my day. So just being like alone, having our one-on-one -on -one time. There's a few good things about walking my dog here at Western. Um, one of them being there's some really nice like outdoor opportunities. Like there's a lot of good fields where I can like play fetch with him. Um, and also like there's a lot of people around that are like really nice and so they'll want to like pet him and stuff and I think it's good for him to like get that socialization like meeting new people and stuff like that so those are just a couple of the good things. Socializing Archie it's been a struggle but it's definitely been beneficial um, because bringing him up here at six months old he within the first year of a dog's life um, is the biggest time when you want to socialize. You know, if you want them to be a people dog, you need to do it. Um, so being up here and being on Western's campus has really helped just with the amount of movement that's on campus constantly. Um, he gets a lot of experience of learning what's right and what's wrong um, on what to do with people interactions. I would say, I mean, it's important to socialize any dog. My dog's eight. So he's kind of like just stuck in his ways. <laughs> but it's especially important with like a younger dog because um, I mean, taking them out and like having them meet new people, like I said, helps them get accustomed to people and get accustomed to new places and new smells, new experiences. And it's really good to do that with a dog because if you don't, they're gonna be like skittish, they might be aggressive, they might develop bad habits that We'll stay with them for a long time. Getting exercise for Archie is very important. Um, I try to bring him on campus once or twice a week if I can. Um, being a student, sometimes that's hard, but we still try to make it work. Um, and he has some medical conditions that doesn't he doesn't really retain weight very well. So being able to exercise him helps him build muscle and retain his weight. It's extremely important. I mean, if you just let your dog like lay around all day, it's going to get unhealthy, probably going to get fat. I don't know. Some people are okay with that. I don't want my dog to be fat. Um, he's super athletic and I just, I mean, I enjoy being able to like do stuff like take him hiking and walk him and play fetch and like let him swim in the creek. And if I didn't walk him, I guess he like wouldn't be fit enough to do those things. Dogs are absolutely fit. Um, they, it's, it's like having a child, you know, especially if you have them as a puppy. They you clean up after their pee and poop constantly. And that's a throughout the life kind of thing. Um, we are teaching them from right and wrong all the time. You know, even at seven years old, you're still teaching them right and wrong. Um, so if you have a counter surfer, you gotta teach them that that's not okay. Um, if you have a very calm dog, Great, kudos to you, but you gotta still socialize. You gotta still teach them how to be out in public um, if that's what you want for your dog. You know, not everyone wants that, but, um, but if you do, I mean, you can have an awesome bond. You can have an awesome relationship with your dog and like a kid. He's, it's like, if you've never heard of them, they're kind of like labs, but not. Like, they're a little more quirky, I guess you could say. Like, some of them are more aggressive. My dog's not aggressive, but, um, like, stubborn, kind of. What's his name? Romeo. Oh, I thought yeah. you were <laughs>